probably okay. I managed to get this one at 100, so we're in pretty good shape. Now we're calibrated. We've calibrated zero, we've calibrated 100%. So now we can take our blank out and measure an actual sample. This is a colored sample, this might look familiar. This is actually one of the unknowns from your lab last week. This is some of the nickel compound or nickel solution that you used. So again, let's wipe the outside of that tube off. Make sure we don't have any fingerprints or smudges. And I just noticed something in this tube. Let's see if I can bring it close enough to show you. There it is. See the bubbles? There are two or three little bubbles in this tube and those little bubbles could cause trouble if the light beam is passing through at the bubbles. So let's just give it a smack and that loosened up the bubbles. The bubbles all came out. Now I touched the bottom with my finger so let's wipe it off one more time and put it into the instrument. Again I'm lining up the word Pyrex with with the orientation mark. Let's put it in there. Now we could just read all of our numbers off of this instrument, but you're probably going to use the computer for that. If we wanted absorbance readings, we just have to hit mode and this would switch to an absorbance reading of 0 .5, 0 0.458. What would that look like if we were using the computer? So here's our computer. When we're using the spectrometer to measure absorbance, we want to use a program called SpectroPro. So let's double click on that. And it may come up telling you to set up the interface. We want to scan COM1. So let's hit scan. And it told me that the Thermospectronic 20D, Thermospectronic 20D Plus interface is active. Okay. Let's take that and let me just maximize this window. So if I want to open up a new absorbance versus wavelength experiment, save changes to untitled, no. Okay, click on the collect button. You can read the instructions here. Let's see what they actually mean. So it's all set up to do absorbance and wavelength. It's going to make a table for me and it's giving me the lab absorbance reading. There's that 0.458 that we saw over on the spectrometer. So we can hit collect and it prompts us to calibrate. So just like we did, set 0% transmittance, we did that, done. Set 100% transmittance with the blank in, and again it tells you all the steps right here, done. Now remove the blank and insert your sample, we already did that. So right here you can see that it started making our graph. So I can go up and select keep, and what do you know? It tells me exactly what to do next. So set the next wavelength, insert the blank cuvette, set 100%, remove the blank, reinsert sample. Let's go do that. So now we're back at the spectrometer. I can take my sample out, put my blank back in and I haven't touched the bottom of this so I'm not going to worry about wiping it but I am going to line up that word Pyrex with the line. So that's all the way in. Close that. Set wavelength. We want to do, let's say we want to do 420. It's not really crucial that you get it at exactly 420. We're going to build a spectrum of a bunch of points so as long as you get it close to where you're aiming you should be fine. Notice we're at more than a hundred percent. If I take this out, it should still be at zero. So you can always check your zero percent calibration, but this one's still good. It should stay good. 
let's put in our sample and adjust the 100% calibration down to 100%. That looks good. Sample back in the instrument and back to the computer. So I set the new wavelength, I inserted the blank, I set 100%, I put the sample back in, OK. There's my next point. The absorbance has gone down keep. It's building my graph as I go and it keeps prompting me to do the next step. So that's really all it takes to work through an absorbance spectrum using Spectra Pro and the Spec20s that we use in lab. We're going to be using these a lot for a number of different things both quantitative and qualitative. So You'll get a lot of practice with them and you'll be used to using them pretty soon.